I hope you're well. Hope you're having a lovely week so far. And um, for those of you who don't yet know me, my name is Shannon Kay and I'm the founder of High Flying Design. High Flying Design is an online marketing magazine and website design studio. Today, I really wanted to sit down and record a video all about a free Google business tool that I think you should be using. It doesn't matter what size business you have, it's relevant for um, solopreneurs, um, small businesses, all the way up to big franchises or big enterprises. Um, so, in case you haven't read the article that this video is embedded inside, um, which I'm gonna link below, the free tool that I'm talking about is called Google My Business. And today I'm going to talk you through how you can claim your account, how you can set one up if one hasn't automatically been generated for your business, which if you're here and you're a small business, chances are there won't be anything for you. So I'll show you how to set it up. And then I'm also gonna show you how you can make the most of your profile. And um, because while you can just kind of create one and leave it there, um, you want to make the most out of it, right? And there's little steps that you can do each month or however often you can to help maximize your profile. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Let me bring up my Google Chrome. Here we go. So what you want to do is Google, Google my business or yeah, Google my business and then press just the top link, get listed on Google. So then you click it and it's going to take you right where you need to be which is on the Google Google Business Profile website. Okay, yeah, so Google have actually changed the name of this free tool. It's now called Google Business Profile, but it used to be called Google My Business. Um, so what you would do is press Manage now up here in the corner. And it comes up with my ones. Okay, this isn't where I want to be. Sorry, um, I need to figure out how you would do it. I guess I need to log out and then we'll start, we'll try again. So please bear with me, let me just pause this video and then I'll come back when I'm ready. <laughs> okay, now let's try this again. Let's press manage now. Okay, now it's gonna ask me to log in. So what you'll want to do is log into your Google account. So I'm gonna log into the account that I know where my profiles are. Okay, so it looks like we're back here after all. So if you haven't got a profile, which chances are you don't, nothing's gonna be here. And what will happen is when you log in, it will take you to a page where you can actually create your own, but I'm gonna pretend that I don't have one. So if it does take you to this page, I think the site has changed slightly since I last did this tutorial over on my Instagram, which I'm gonna link my Instagram below in case you want to follow me there. But you just press add business, add a single business and then okay so this is where I thought we would initially be so this is the page that it, that it will like you bring you out when you go to google my business profile this tab and then there'll be a button here and then it will bring you here and then what you want to do is type in your business name so um, I'm going to do my business name but change it slightly so I'm going to create this business so what you'll do is that and then what you want to do is literally just write it how you want it to be displayed. So we'll do it properly. So I already have one based on the high flying design, but I'll change it slightly. And then you want to add in the category. So I am marketing. Can't see the higher one for some reason. So we'll just go with marketing consultant next. And then you want to follow the on screen steps. So do you want to add a location? I don't because I don't. I don't have a physical location yet, yet, because maybe one day we'll have an office here at High Flying Design. Um, and where do you serve your customers? So you'll pop in where your clients are based, um, the United Kingdom, pop, pop in, I feel like it wants us to say Manhattan since it's there. So let's do that. And then we'll go next. And then where is your, wh which region is your business based in? And then we need to change this. To the United Kingdom for me, for you, you might be in the States, you know, but you click next. Oh, my voice. Then you want to pop in a contact number and your website, or if you don't have one, there you go. But hopefully you do. If you don't have a website, maybe you want to work with me, you know, I'm a web designer, as I said earlier. So I will also pop a link down below to how you can work with me to get your business a website. 
Um, but for now, let's just press next. Oh, damn it. Okay, fine. I'll put in my website because I don't want to share my number with the world. <laughs> and I don't know if it's going to let me do this. Oh my gosh. Okay, it is. So then what you do is enter your mailing address. And then what's going to happen once you've done this step by step, because I'm going to cancel mine here because I don't really want to set this up, is you, they ask you to put in your mailing address because to verify your Google My Business account, you're going to get mailed a card with like a, you know how we get two-factor authentication these days and then we get a text with like a six-digit number on it and then we have to pop that in. It's exactly the same, but they do it through mail to make sure that you're a legit business um, and it's it's just a more secure process if they have your house address because a lot of fakesters aren't going to give their address, are they? So that's why um, you get the address and then you'll be able to finish setting up your profile once you receive that. I think it takes, I'm going to guess up to a week to receive that and then you'll be able to finish the process. Um, so that's as far as I'm going to show you here. Now what I'm going to do is bring up my listing and what we'll do is I'll show you where you've come up to after you've verified. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a bit smaller. We're going to actually delete this one. We're just going to remove the business because it's not really real. It was just an example, uh, but you, of course you wouldn't do that. You And you only have one listed here. I have one of my clients on here. Um, if you're in London and you're looking for a ph physiotherapist, you definitely want to check out ATO Life. Um, Abby is amazing. Um, but now let's delve into my profile. So once you've verified your account, once you've got the mail, once you've done the verification, which you'll get emails and that kind of thing, it will take you here. So this is the back end of your profile. And the first thing that you're going to be asked to do is put in all of your business info. So I know you've already started doing that. So you've chosen your category. So I've put web designer, although I think I'm going to update this. Um, so you would change this. Um, you've already put in your service areas. Now you can add in your working hours here. You can pop in your link to any other social profiles you've got, any products that, you've, that, you've, that you sell. Um, and then you can list all of your services. So I literally popped in a few and then what Google does is I guess it reads your website content and it will also populate for you so now there's tons of services on here <laughs> that I need to go through but yeah and then you can add a bio for your business which I definitely definitely recommend doing write something that is similar to maybe what you've put in your html description which is in case you don't know is like the page the meta data at the back end of your site or but kind of behind the scenes of your page. Um, I suspect it's what you've got written on your socials as well, but just something with some keywords in that just kind of summarizes what you do. Um, and then, so once you've got kind of the core information in, um, obviously you'll start to show up on Google search if you've popped in a location for your business, um, which is an awesome plus that, and that I should have mentioned at the start of the video really. But yeah, when you're on Google My Business, it will mean that your business shows up on Google search. And then it will also give you additional coverage in your Google um, brand search. So this is mine. So as you can see, I popped in all that information and it's come out here. What I'll do in a minute is show you how to add photos and that kind of thing. Um, but I added my products. So I have two products at the moment and then my bio and then I've added posts here but this is basically what it does so when you type in your brand name it just means that you're right at the top because as you scroll down there might be other businesses with similar names or different kind of searches and you just want to dominate you know um but it's really good if you have quite a competitive name for example um but yeah so now we'll go back to the manager away by the way once you've kind of finished setting up your profile you can actually edit it really quickly if you go to your brand search and then you can just press edit profile here and then you don't even have to go into the back end anymore to edit it which is convenient for those of you who'd prefer to do that um i don't know i just like going into the back end but um you might prefer going through your google search and that's okay <laughs> um but okay so something that i think for the upkeep of your profile you should aim to do 
You should aim to try and collect reviews through Google. Um, now they've made it a lot easier to like find a link to give directly to your clients. I mean, I've only actually found, I've only got two reviews on here because I use Trustpilot as my main place to collect reviews. And I know that I'm working on connect collecting more reviews on Google and, and I will get there over time. And it's actually so funny that I've just spotted that both of these reviews have four. It's like four weeks ago and 44. And I just love that. <laughs> but yeah, um, you should aim to collect reviews because you're going to help. It just helps collect like more keywords for you, I personally feel. And I feel like it helps Google better understand your business as well. Makes it look way more credible, that kind of thing, which is great. Um, So to kind of make the most out of your profile, try to collect reviews best as you can. Um, you can also now receive messages through Google My Business, which I haven't actually, I've done one test, which you'll see in a minute, um, but that's cool. Um, so people can contact you directly, they might want to. And then we've got photos. So it's nice we have a little gallery. I recommend posting on here as much as you can. I saying that I need to do it more, but it's actually categorized as well. So this is like the overview. Then I have videos, so I have two videos on here, although I think this file was a bit too big because it's not showing the thumbnail. Um, and then we have at work, so I've popped that in the at work folder as well. And then the team, it's just me. And identity, I put my banner and my logo. Um, but using images and then making sure you're naming the image files before you upload them is really useful because these are going to show up on Google Images, which is great. Um, and if you have things like, for example, I might have tagged this with beauty website, then I might have a chance of showing up there on Google Images, which is great. Um, you never know, right? So yeah, and some of these images get a lot of views. Like my ones don't have that many yet because I've only really just started making the most out of my profile. Like I literally uploaded this video today. Um, but on when I've left reviews and stuff for other people's businesses and I've attached an image, my images have had thousands and thousands of views. So even though it might seem like something that's like, is this really worth my time doing? It definitely is. Um, so yeah, the next step in the back end is products. So if you do sell products, definitely worth adding them on here. Um, so people can just see them instantly. I need to update the imagery on both because I've made new banners, but I will do that once I finish recording this video. Um, but yeah, just a really quick way for people to quickly see what you sell in the Google search, which is great. And then we've got services. So add, as I said earlier, you can add in stuff and then it will auto populate some things in as well. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So to another thing that you can do to keep get the most out of your profile that I didn't show you on the back end would be to go to posts, which is at the top here. I skipped that one and I've just published one not that long ago, so it hasn't actually finished publishing but you can just create posts just like you would on social media. And I've started doing this lately. And I mean, they haven't got tons of views just yet, but I think over time it'll be really beneficial. And it's great for anyone who's just researching your brand because we don't know the, the user journey of every single customer. And I think that some customers or potential clients, they don't have time. Like some clients don't have time to browse your entire website. They don't have time to go through so many Google links. If it's all just there in one place, as soon as they search your brand, I feel like that's just an instant, you're giving them an instant great first impression um, without them having to go everywhere. So even though you might already be posting this stuff on your socials, etc cetera, etc cetera. like you have to just remember that not everyone is going to look everywhere not everyone's going to have you on socials not everyone's going to be looking for you in one certain place so it's good just to cover all your base sitters and considering this is free and it gets you in front of clients that are already searching for you i just think it's like it's just a given that you should be showing up here and if it's something that you haven't yet utilized I mean, what are you doing? Like jump on it. It's, so e it's just so easy to set up as well. Um, but the only thing that I've realized that I haven't covered within this video is how to claim your own listing. So, you know, earlier on when I typed in my business name and I was practicing how to create one, like you have to search for your business, right? 
if your business came up, you can just click on it and then you can claim it. Or what you can do is search. So let me think of a business. Um, say your business is, um, um, I was just seeing if it would come up on this one, but it isn't. So um, I need a big business like Charlotte Tilbury, for example, as it's come up. I don't know if they've claimed theirs. Here we go. Okay, so hers is a bit different because she has a person profile. Hers is more of a knowledge profile, whereas ours is the company profile. So here, Charlotte Tilbury Beauty. However, it works the same. So what you could do is you just press claim this knowledge panel. If if Charlotte Tilbury, if you're watching this, <laughs> um, that's all you need to do, press claim. And then you have more control. So sometimes on the internet when it's auto-populated or populated based on loads of different sites, it might collect slightly wrong information. So it means that you're just in control and you can manage it. Okay, so here's the Charlotte Tilbury panel. They haven't claimed it. It's so crazy to me that the big brands haven't claimed their big, like their own Google profiles. But yeah, so she just press claim this profile and then follow the on-screen steps. And then you can, um, you can just control it. Like they could have all their products listed on here. I know they already have them on Google because they're doing ads, but it's just extra visibility, you know? Um, because yeah, currently it just links to Wikipedia. Really, she'd want it linked to her website. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I think I've I've spoke long enough um, about Google My Business. I think that, I guess, I think that it is used for businesses that have locations, but it's just not used enough. So I just wanted to make this little starter video because even though I've spoken for quite a long time, it's quite simple. Um, and it's, yeah, just something that I think all businesses need to to jump on. It's just such a quick win. Um, so yeah, I hope this has helped. If it has, please subscribe. Let me know down below if you've felt encouraged to build a Google My Business profile for your business because of this video um, and share it with your friends who are in business because, you know, every little helps and not everyone has every single bit of knowledge that they could, that could benefit them. So yeah, anyway, that's all from me. I will speak to you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>